Simon's new job. Simon lay in bed. He was very excited. Tomorrow, he would start his new job. He was going to work at a company that sold cars. Simon couldn't wait to meet his colleagues. He couldn't wait to see his desk. He couldn't wait to get paid. But Simon wasn't excited about the cars. Actually, Simon hated driving, but he didn't say this to his boss. He knew that after six months at the company, they would give him a car, and he would take it. But he didn't want to use the car. He already had a small blue car, and he only used it twice a year, to visit his grandparents. He didn't need more than that. On Monday morning, Simon woke up and tore off a page from his calendar. Today's picture was a happy cat. It was going to be a good week. Simon walked to work. He wanted to be healthy for his new job. But the office was far away from his house. It took an hour to walk there. When Simon arrived, he was sweating. That morning, he had put on lots of deodorant, but it wasn't enough. Simon met his colleagues and saw his new desk. He enjoyed the work, but because it was his first day, he still sweated a lot. All day, his colleagues sniffed and said, What's that smell? Is there a dog in here? Simon got home and said, Tomorrow will be better. On Tuesday, Simon tore off another page from his calendar. Today's picture was a cat playing with a dog. Today, Simon took the train to work. He put on lots of deodorant and walked to the train station. The train was faster than walking, but there was only one train every hour. So Simon arrived to work 40 minutes early. When he got there, the office was closed. So Simon stood and waited. It was very cold outside. He didn't have a scarf or gloves on, because he hadn't wanted to sweat. When his boss came 30 minutes later, he said, Ah, good to see you came early. It's good that you're excited. But your face is blue. Are you all right? I'm FF fine, said Simon. Don't worry, I'll put the heating on. They went inside, and Simon's boss put the heating on. Soon, it was much warmer. Soon, Simon felt better. But when he came home that evening, he couldn't take off his shirt. He had used too much deodorant and now his shirt was stuck to him. He had to use a pair of scissors to cut the shirt off. And it was such a nice shirt. Oh well, said Simon. Tomorrow will be better. On Wednesday, Simon tore off another page from the calendar. In today's picture, the dog was chasing the cat. Today, Simon took the bus. He only put on a bit of deodorant. But there were lots of people at the bus stop. When the first bus came, they all ran onto it, and there wasn't enough space for Simon. He waited for the next bus, and it was very full, but there was space for Simon. But still, he sweated a lot and there was a woman on the bus who was screaming. Simon didn't understand why she was screaming, but nobody said anything. When he got to work, he was a bit late and had a headache. He told his boss there was a problem with the bus, and his boss said, That's all right, it happens to everyone. But it won't happen again, will it? His boss sniffed. Ha, huh, there's that smell again. Did the dog come back? 
In the evening, Simon took off his shirt. It wasn't stuck to him, but it smelled very bad. Tomorrow will be better, said Simon. Tomorrow will be better. On Thursday, Simon tore off another page from his calendar. In today's picture, the cat was chasing the dog. Today, Simon called a taxi. He wanted to make sure that he got to work okay. He put on lots of deodorant and then waited 15 minutes for it to dry. Then he got into the taxi and told the taxi driver where to go. But the taxi driver went a strange way. He went through lots of streets that Simon didn't know. Simon saw fields with cows and sheep and thought, this isn't how you get to work. When he got there, the taxi driver said, that'll be 50 pounds, please. 50 pounds. Simon couldn't believe it. It was so expensive. Still, he took the money out of his wallet and paid the driver. At work that day, Simon didn't talk to anyone. He was not happy. At lunch, he couldn't buy food because he had spent all his money on the taxi. When Simon got home, his shirt wasn't stuck to him but he was still very angry. He pulled off his shirt too quickly and tore it. Tomorrow will be, Simon couldn't say it. So he just went to bed. On Friday, Simon tore off another page from his calendar. In today's picture, there was no chasing. There was just the cat, but the cat had a fat stomach and looked very happy. Today, Simon decided to drive to work. He really didn't want to drive, but it seemed the best way to go. He could control the temperature in the car, and he could drive a fast way to work. If he got there early, he could sit in the car and put the heating on. But when Simon got into the car, the car wouldn't start. He tried again, but still, the car wouldn't start. Simon wanted to scream. He had tried everything. He had tried to control how much deodorant he used, but that wasn't enough. He had tried every different way of going to work, but that wasn't enough. He had tried driving, which he hated, and that still wasn't enough. So Simon went inside and rang his boss. Hello, said Simon's boss. A a a a a a h h h h h h screamed Simon. Then he put the phone down and went to bed. Simon wasn't going to work. He could control that. The end.